Hello, this is the HVAC Budget Channel bringing you another multi-tool tonight. Tonight we will look at the Leatherman Fuse. This will come in the 4-inch frame. Let's go ahead and start with the pliers. And these pliers actually work pretty good. This tool is still a little bit stiff as some Leathermans are. But you'll notice that it cuts wire fairly good. Got just some... Um, not sure if this is copper. Well, it was cutting pretty good. Uh, but there we go. Cuts it off pretty good. I think this might be 10 gauge copper, uh, forget her 12 gauge, something like that. And it's just cutting through it really good. All right, so one of the tests that I find that uh, really sort of works for me is I actually find some of these tools hang up cutting smaller wire. And there we go, that seems to be cutting really good right there. So these wire cutters seem to do a pretty good job. You'll notice also at the bottom, there's a hard wire cutter notch there as well. So now these, the Leatherman Fuse, one of the things I'm just actually noticing is what's different from, I would say its successor of the rebar is, uh, the rebar sort of has more of a dedicated crimper notch there, which in this model, I don't really see that the fuse has that. I guess there's a place you could sort of try to use, but I don't know that it's a dedicated crimper. All right, so let's look at some of the other tool sets. One of the things you'll notice that's, that is different between the rebar and the fuse is that in this older Leatherman, they try to make it more comfortable with these plastic inserts. So I actually bought it largely because I wanted to try out the inserts to see if they actually were that comfortable and I really did not find them that much different. So I'm pretty happy with the Leatherman rebar. The way they roll this metal over, I actually find that it's fairly comfortable for me. Now I know some people will find these inserts a lot better. They'll like them a lot more and if so, you can get these off eBay for around $40 to $50. They still retain a lot of their value. So you'll notice these are locking very similar to the rebar, these tabs, and also the, the, screws, the, uh, the screws here that hold the implements together are very similar as well. And I believe all these implements will be interchangeable with the rebar. I believe you can sort of swap if you would want to mod them, I think. All right, so let's look what's in this handle. We find, first of all, it's got scissors. So that is something that some of these multi-tools do not have, the rebar, for instance. And that is something that is very important to some people. So we've got some scissors. So let's go ahead and, unfortunately, I do not have any paracord with me. I have some weed eater twine here, or the weed eater cord, I guess. And that seems to cut through fairly well. Let's see if it will even cut small gauge wire. Notice that some scissors will, and it did. So it's able to even cut through some small gauge wire as well. So those scissors seem to be pretty good. I wanted to bring out the other multi-tool, the multi-force, and sort of compare these scissors. So these scissors are, uh, the ones on the fuse are just a little bit smaller, it looks like. So the ones on the multi-fours from Walmart, the Ozark Trail, I reviewed that in another video. I believe most people know about this multi-tool. It's around $37. But those scissors are a little, just a little bit bigger, but they're patterned uh, very, very close to these scissors. All right, so we'll go ahead and put uh, these scissors back. And so we'll flip it around like this. One of the things you'll notice is it has this uh, 3D or 4D bit driver here, and this is something um, the Phillips head. You can also, I believe Leatherman has a bit adapter that goes over this and then allows you to expand your tool a lot more. But this is a really nice Phillips head, a really nice long reach on this tool. One of the other things we notice is the fairly normal can opener and also the wire stripper tool, this combo tool. And again, I do not find this extremely useful. I guess, I guess you are supposed to be able to cut 
uh, sort of go around a circle and and cut this wire. Um, I guess it's fairly far down. I probably should try it uh, further up, but I just I find it very hard to use, and it just seems really awkward. I'm used to using dedicated wire strippers in my job, and I just I do not like this combination tool at all. I mean it it will cut, but it just seems very clumsy. And I really don't find a huge use for this tool. I really wish Leatherman would make a full size uh, wire stripper head like they have in the ES4 Squirt. But anyway, that's topic for another day. So we find that you've got these three implements in this side, the scissors, the Phillips, and the can opener combination tool. And then on this side, we have our knife blade. And this has a nick, really nail nick, far up the handle. So you sort of have to get used to that, but fairly nice long blade. And then we find the straight, the normal flat driver there and I really like this because in HVAC you have some very large bolts you have to work on and so this really comes in handy seems like normal multi-tools or other multi-tools I should say have fairly smaller uh, flat uh, screwdrivers but I find that very handy and then something else I find very handy is this thin screwdriver and I was very happy to see this one and I'm thinking about uh, moving this over to the rebar because I believe most of these tools are interchangeable. I really like the narrow profile on the tip. I have to work with thermostat screws and there's there's not too many screwdrivers that fit into that narrow hole but I was able to use this and that really came in handy. And then I guess one of the last uh, things on here I believe it looks like there is a, a lanyard ring which right here is sort of stuck but there is lanyard ring as well in this tool so this one came some of the tools are pretty stuck uh, but again this is a used tool but so those are the tools that you find now again I wanted to compare this with a Leatherman rebar uh, the Leatherman rebar does have these replaceable wire cutters and then you'll find it has a lot more tools on it so I was surprised how the fuse only has three tools on this side and then three tools on this side minus the uh, lanyard ring there. But so you only have six tools where the rebar, they cram in uh, eight tools if you're not counting the lanyard ring. So um, actually, I guess you have one, two, three, four, five on that side and four on this side, so nine, nine tools. So the rebar, I've been really happy with all the tools they put on it. I've got a lot of things I wanna change, uh, add. I think it can be better, but it's, it's a very good tool. The fuse is a nice tool, and it's nice to just sort of check out, uh, I guess you could say, to see the how Leatherman has evolved. But as far as being a huge advantage, I do not find it a huge advantage over the rebar. It's missing a lot of the tools the rebar has. It does have scissors, but again, I do not use scissors that much. I barely use scissors every day. Um, well, I don't. I barely use them maybe once a week. I've been carrying both the rebar and the fuse with me, but I find that I rarely need the fuse. So far I've basically just been using that thermostat screwdriver and I think that was once. And the rebar, I really like the awl again for using it in uh, to punch holes in metal and so forth. Probably not what it's designed for, but I find the rebar is just overall a lot better tool. But the fuse is very nice. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you found something useful for you. And like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.